<laughs> oh, your flash is on. That's right. Oh. They can ruin I it. I like that. Yeah. Just brighten up the space. Yeah. All right, Nick. God, I love this. <laughs> so, moral dilemma. Nothing new. Just going to mess Brendan up real quick. And I'm going to get uncomfortably aggressive with you once again. Hmm. I already sent some anger, so let's see where this goes. Not starting off. Not starting off good. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Brendan. A pregnant woman. You're an animal. Leading a group of people out of a cave on a coast is stuck in the mouth of that cave. In a short time, high tide will be upon them. And unless she is unstuck, they will all be drowned except the woman whose head is out of the cave. Fortunately, or unfortunately, someone has with him a stick of dynamite. There seems no way to get the pregnant woman loose without using the dynamite, which will inevitably kill her. But if they do not use it, everyone will drown. What should they do? Jesus. You're an animal. First of all, you're the fucked up travel agent who told this pregnant woman that she could go <laughs> on a cave diving expedition. So you're finished. <laughs> so what? So I'm. let me understand this correctly. This pregnant woman is stuck in an, the only exit hole of a cave when the tide rolls in her, she will essentially use utilizing her pregnant body plug the hole drowning the children below her yeah so she's stuck in it so the hole is or burned. they could use the dynamite wedge it behind her and blow her up out of the dynamite and she's for sure dead yeah and they'll be able to escape the cave so it'll save all them who 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 Comes up with this garbage. <laughs> I'm curious as to how these people didn't have any other resources except dynamite. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I could... I could. Nick, we're trapped in this room. There's 30 other people. For some reason, we can never get out unless you murder everybody. Go. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, this is silly, but... I'll play the game. All right. Let's hear it. I mean, my answer on any of these, like, kill 20 people, kill two people ones, like, do the least amount of harm. You have to set the dynamite. You have to tell no, who you're killing. No, no. The kids have the dynamite. How am I getting in there and not getting everybody out? No, so, you, yeah, you're in there. I'm one them. of the kids? Yeah, you're one of the people. You're one of the group, like, there's a group of people that she's leading, mm -hmm. um, and you're one of those people, and you have to, they say, Brendan, again, you're our leader, Brendan the Great, set the dynamite, blow her up, you gotta let her know How what's did going she get on. stuck? She was probably trying to get out. And there. she's legitimately stuck? Yes, it says, there seems no way to get the pregnant woman loose without using the dynamite, which will inevitably kill her. What? No, I'll tell you the seven things I'm going to try before I kill her. Do you have a list? Probably. That'd be nice. Number one, use the dynamite somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, it's a cave. There's going to be other thin walls to the outside. Are you sure? No, <laughs> but I'm telling you I'm trying that first. Okay. But Number you, two. You run the risk of using the dynamite. And then not getting anybody out. Understood. Everybody's dead. Everybody, yep. including me. Yeah, I can live with that. Oh, <laughs> oh, but you have an option to save all these other people. Okay, never mind. Go back. Number, Number two. two. I mean, what is the cost of trying to remove this woman? She loses the pregnancy. So what I envisioned is like, it says... They will all be drowned except the woman whose head is out of the cave. I'm imagining a hole at the top of this cave. She was able to climb up and get herself started to climb out. She got and her belly gets caught on the hole opening and now she oh. can't get out, but her head's up and out of the water. Okay. Yeah, I was envisioning that 
it's like just her head that's stuck outside of this small hole. But I guess that wouldn't make sense as to why she would even like try to get in there. Right. If it's just a, a head hole. Yeah. Okay. So she's like halfway. Yeah. She's, ha- she's got to be halfway. This is just the most unforeseeable circumstances that have ever graced this fine earth. It might have happened. I don't know that it has. There's Not been some well. crazy stuff that have happened. I don't think this is one of them. Are you sure? No. Okay, so you. what was number two? Number two was, I mean, if we can save her life and the only risk we run is potentially she loses the baby. Like, these are impossible scenarios. I'm just thinking of something. Like, let's save her life. Let's give her another opportunity to have a baby. Let's save all the children. You know, it's you got to think about it. I'm confused as to what your approach is then. Forcing her through the hole. Mm, but she's stuck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pull her out. Back in. I don't know. And then lodge the dynamite in the hole. Blow it up. Everybody climbs out. I mean, you said it, not me. But she's stuck, so that's not an option. So let me just understand this question again. The only way to get her out is to li- no, is to literally blow her up with the dynamite. Like, we're not talking about the hole. We're clearing the hole by blowing her up. There seems no You're way s- to get the pregnant woman loose without using the dynamite, which will inevitably kill her. No, no, no. Before we go forward, what website is this on? Who wrote this? Who authored this? Uh, that's, that's a sick puppy who wrote this. I'll give a link to this uh, in the description. But yeah, this is uh, from examples.yourdictionary.com backslash ethical dilemma examples. I mean, whew, I don't know. Well, so you're just going to be the guy who doesn't know what to do in this situation. So everybody's dead. No, I'm going to be the guy who sits down and helps everybody face their own mortality as the tide rises. Mm. So we all can go in peace. Mm. That's okay. All right. Go in peace. And then the, the woman's going to live. It's, it's I a mean, group of people. They don't specify I'm not, how many people, but it's a group. I'm going to say that this is a collective decision that we tried to send her through first. Again, Ooh, how dare yeah. you put this on me? That I'm the one who has to make the d- dynamite decision. I mean, figure it out, Brendan. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good question, though. If this is like a jury, right? The tribe has spoken. The tribe has spoken. If there is one person who is so set on blowing them up, blowing her up, that you're worried that they might just do it themselves, what do you do? Everybody else is like, no, let's save her. You think we have a rogue agent who goes with the sneaks the dynamite? Yeah, how do you go about that? I mean, what do you do? You don't sleep, I guess. Am I instantly paranoid that this is going to happen? I don't know that I would be immediately suspicious that somebody's going to you know, go on a murder rampage. Whew. These are dire situations. They are. Well, this one, I, I feel like I did. What is your what is your answer? I genuinely don't think that I can get out of that cave knowing that I decidingly blew up a pregnant woman. So I am going to struggle till the very end to get her out or I'm not blowing up a pregnant woman. All right. I think my favorite part about this is asking you again and again for like the same response. Yeah. Just so that you can like really go back and forth in your head about, oh, should I do this? Because not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brendan wants to kill the group of people and save the pregnant woman. What do you all think? Because yikes, do not know if that's the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> but who knows? I'm not in this situation, so I don't have to worry. Yeah. Yeah. Catch us next time where I uh, mess Brennan up for the day. Thanks. I need therapy.